So welcome everyone and walk you, thank you for joining our Organic Chemistry Summer Abroad Info Session. My name is Ana Arellano and I oversee the UCEAP Organic Chemistry Program at the International Education Office. Today we will be discussing COVID-19 and study abroad, what the Organic Chemistry Abroad Program is. We will provide a brief overview of the university and city in which these programs are located. We will review the curriculum of this program, explain how to apply, dive into the cost and funding, and conclude with your questions and answers. So now, study abroad and COVID-19. As of today, or as of this recording for those that will view it at a later time, our summer 2021 programs and on are scheduled to run. The UCLA Study Abroad Office, together with its partners like UCEAP, is monitoring world events and we're continuously assessing the safety of our programs for our students and faculty abroad. We are working in an ever-changing environment and more than ever, students who desire to study abroad will need to be flexible as factors unfortunately outside of our control may change plans unexpectedly. If you are considering studying abroad and need to renew or apply for a passport, we know the U.S. Department of State has an extensive backlog of passport applications, and, and it's currently taking longer than the usual six to eight weeks processing window. If this is the case, because this is the case, we strongly encourage students who can to apply for or renew a passport as soon as possible, and this is to ensure that you have a passport in a timely manner. There are a handful of programs that will require students to secure a passport or um, sorry, a student or a visitor visa before the departure. And in order to secure these visa, you would require this part, this passport. This information is for US citizens traveling with American passports, but similar delays may be occurring with international passport processing offices. If this is the case, they have an international passport, please make sure to check in with those um, respective consulates and embassies. So what is organic chemistry abroad? The Organic Chemistry Abroad Program is a pre-approved eight-week program from mid-June to mid-August in Dublin, Ireland, in which UCLA students can satisfy UCLA's Chemistry 30A, Chemistry 30AL, Chemistry 30B, and Chemistry 30BL. We understand that you may not require all these courses, but the Chemistry Department has approved this program to satisfy these two courses and two labs at UCLA. On this program, students will enroll in two classes, Organic Chemistry 1 for four weeks and Organic Chemistry 2 for the remaining four weeks. Upon successfully completing this program, students will earn a total of 12 UC quarter units and all coursework, all grades and units will automatically transfer to the UCLA record. Because all coursework grades and units will transfer to the UCLA record, there is no transcript available from the University College Dublin. If a graduate program that you're interested in, for example, requires a transcript from your host university, the transcript that you will be providing will be your UCLA transcript, just because everything is converted to your UC coursework. Um, finally, we, while this program has been pre-approved to satisfy the chemistry requirements, an additional step is required just to simply ensure that these requirements are met at UCLA. This step includes speaking with your major advisor once these courses and their grades appear on your UCLA transcript. When speaking with them, you'll let them know you have completed this program and have them simply manually enter these courses to fulfill the requirements on your UCLA records. So now, University College Dublin, where these programs are offered. The campus of University College Dublin, or UCD, um, feels like a modern university campus. It's on the southern edge of Dublin. If you're looking into going to the city center of Dublin, it's a 25 minute bus ride. And UCD feels a lot like the modern sections of UCLA. You're looking into South Campus or Sunset Village for those who have been there. Dublin, the city itself, it's known for its welcoming residents and its student friendly atmosphere. On this program, once you're in the city, you can visit the Stone of Destiny, the Dublin Castle. You can also take um, a bus ride to visit the Club some more on the other side of Ireland as well. At this time, how housing and meals will be arranged at University College Dublin for summer 2021 is still being coordinated. In the meantime, University College Dublin has provided current COVID-19 protocols that will be in place for summer at UCD. You can access this information by visiting bit.ly slash Dublin COVID-19. And on this website, they provide information on initial health screenings, face coverings. Um, they provide more information about health monitoring, symptoms, quarantine, and testing. And as they receive information, this page would be updated as well. So I definitely recommend checking that just to see where UCD stands now with COVID-19 protocols and for next summer. 
the curriculum. On this program, we expect to have a small cohort, about 30 participants, and as already mentioned, students will be enrolled in two courses throughout the eight weeks abroad, so Organic Chemistry 1 and Organic Chemistry 2. If you are interested in reviewing the syllabus for the program, you can access last year's tentative syllabus at bit.ly ly slash UCD Organic Chem. And this is provided simply for reference. Once again, this was a tentative summer 2020 syllabus. The syllabus for this year is subject to change, not available just yet, but this is provided just for a quick reference if you'd like to take a look at it. On this program, you can expect a combination of lecture-based teaching, continuous assessment, lab-based experimentation, and self-study. Key concepts and tools will be presented in lectures, while in labs, tutorials, and self-study will help students apply their knowledge to solve these chemistry problems. You can expect eight one-hour lectures per week. There are several two-hour workshops each week that are devoted to these problem-solving skills. There are a total of 10 to 3, 10 three-hour labs per four weeks. In these labs, typically students work individually with the exception of the last two. Each week, students will be given one set of problems as part of their homework. In addition to the lectures, labs, and homework, these programs require a minimum of 10 hours self-study per week. A preliminary assessment of these courses include 15% of your grade will be due to problem sets, tutorials, and weekly workshops. 25% of your grade will be from weekly lab reports, 10% from the midterm, and 50% for the final. And once again, this is all tentative. This is all based on summer 2020 syllabus. So how do you apply? Well, the first thing first is eligibility. Um, how, what makes you eligible for this program? The first requirement is being either a sophomore, junior, or senior. Class standing um, for this program is defined by units and not by your years at a university. You would require a minimum 2.85 UC GPA. You would have, have to have met or complete, successfully completed Math 31A and Math 31B or equivalent per DARS. What that means, let's say, for example, you came into UCLA with AP credit that satisfies Math 31AB, then you are good to go. Um, same thing, Chemistry 20A and 20B must be completed, whether it be classes taken at UCLA or having met that requirement through AP courses or community college courses. The math and chemistry prereqs, um, they're the same prereqs that are required to enroll in chemistry 30A and 30B at UCLA. We are following the same guidelines. Um, so you want to make sure these are all completed before enrolling in these courses. Um, these, co these requirements must be met prior to departure. So let's say, for example, you're currently enrolled in math 31AB or as well as 20A and 20B. As long as they're completed before departure, so before summer 2021, you are good to go. That's to apply. First things first, you'd want to visit the application. You would go to my.uceap.universityofcalifornia.edu. You would create an account for your UCEAP portal. On there, you would search for the program application. The official name of this program is called Dublin Science and Engineering. And the exact package that you will be applying to is called Summer Organic Chemistry. On this page, you would see the similar for Summer Physics, but you would be applying for the Summer Organic Chemistry track. You would submit your UCEAP application and you will submit the UCLA IEO online questionnaire. The online questionnaire can be found as part of the application instructions on the UCEAP application. You might, please be sure to submit both applications as applications are not considered complete until both are submitted. Applications are now open and they will be open until January 12, 2021. Program costs and funding. The total estimated cost of the Summer Organic Chemistry Program is estimated now at $14,720. This cost includes all fees students are expected to incur while abroad. This includes a round-trip airfare, this includes tuition, housing, meals, books, and transportation. Everything a student is required or should be paying in order for them to live comfortably while abroad. If you are eligible to receive financial aid, you can transfer over your scholarship, your grants, and loans to cover the cost of this program. A financial aid package will be adjusted to meet the total cost of your study abroad program. And please note that financial aid refers to scholarship, grants, and loans. During the summer, aid generally tends to be more loan heavy as some grant funds may be limited um, as they would be during the academic year. 
For more information on how financial aid can be applied to your study abroad program, please connect with the UCLA Financial Aid Advisor. They can also provide you a very rough estimate of how much you can expect to receive based on your program of interest and your estimated family contribution. Scholarships. Scholarships are also available. There are need-based scholarships, identity-based, merit-based, and these scholarships are provided by UCLA, by UCEAP, or there are external centers that provide scholarships as well. To view available scholarships, um, please visit ieo.ucla.edu slash scholarships. You're always more than welcome to email me as well, give a little bit more insight about potential scholarships. Um, I definitely recommend checking out our website. We provide those that are directly overseen by our office. We can also connect you with UCEAP scholarship, which there may be more out there based on the location that you're interested in going. Um, like I mentioned, identity-based, need-based, um, definitely worth checking out. And the financial aid advisors, advisors can also be a little bit more of assistance in providing these scholarships to you. So very quick presentation. I will now take any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, like I mentioned, this recording will be available and I can also send you the slides if you're interested. Um, I did see a couple questions, so we're gonna go ahead and begin with those. First and foremost, I see what YouTube channel is the video going to be on? This will be on the UCLA Study Abroad channel. Um, since you are registered through my UCLA following this um, presentation, I will send you the link for the YouTube channel. We can all go ahead and find this um, recording at a later time. Is the application first come first serve? This application is first come first serve. We have a total of 30 spots available for UCLA students. Um, but generally speaking, as of now, we have not received any application. The application is open until January, but yes, first come first serve. Will this program also be available in 2022? We expect this program to be available summer 2022 as well as summer 2021. Um, there are no guarantees as that's quite a little bit ahead of us, um, but I don't foresee it not being offered. Um, like I mentioned, although no guarantees. Can I apply as a freshman this year? Yes, you can, absolutely. Um, when you are applying, uh, you will need to submit an unofficial transcript to your UCEAP application. Um, this will need to just to be provided your UCGPA. Since you don't have an established UCGPA just yet, you would simply submit your unofficial transcript from my UCLA that you have currently. It would only show your current fall enrollments, but it will serve as a placeholder. And before the January 12th deadline, I will ask you to re-upload your transcripts, um, which then have your fall UCLA and a grade and your UCGPA that has been established. But absolutely, yes, freshmen can apply. Is there cost reduction if I already took a class that is listed under this curriculum? Unfortunately, no. Um, the way this program is, is created is just is that it's encompassed with organic chemistry one and organic chemistry two, um, which in turn has been able to satisfy these two courses and two labs at UCLA. But unfortunately, no, there would not be any cost reduction for only needing one of the courses. When will the decision be announced? I'm assuming um, the decision refers to the if the summer 2021 programs would be suspended due to COVID. Um, if so, we are looking into by hopefully end of winter quarter, early spring quarter, which is when we will be releasing the in-person travel component of a program. Um, of course, the sooner the better, but we still need to monitor the situation. It's a very fluid situation. Um, but as of now, the programs are still scheduled to run and we're looking to late winter, early spring quarter for a final decision on these programs. I meant whether or not we are accepted into the program. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you for the clarification. Um, you would be notified within six weeks of the deadline. The deadline is January 12th. Um, I would like to review applications as they are coming in. So you would receive a notification of whether you are accepted or not accepted into this program by late January, early February. Are we required to go if we are accepted? That's a great question. No, you are not. So um, on UCEAP programs, there is no application fee um, and you have a withdrawal date. 
before any fees are associated to this program must be paid or there will be a penalty. What this means is let's say you decide to submit your application today and decide in January that you no longer want to participate, that is okay. For the organic chemistry program, students have until April 1st to withdraw their application with no withdrawal fee. So you are not bind to this application if you do not wish to go at a later time. Great question. And that goes the same with any other UC EAP program as well. There is a withdrawal deadline. Um, any withdrawals of your application before the withdrawal deadline, there is no absolutely no fee. Additionally, um, unfortunately, we're not able to have a returnee join us during this time of the session. But if you are interested and want to know a little bit more about their perspective and what they thought about this program, um, as well as their time abroad, always feel free to send me an email. I'd be happy to connect you with um, one of the student returnees who can provide you that perspective as well as and answer any of the questions that you may have that I am not able to answer um, from a student perspective, of course. Um, but I'll be sticking around if you have any other questions, happy to answer them. Otherwise, always feel free to send me an email. Um, I, like to, I like to make sure I would apply to students within 24 to 40 hour window. Um, always feel free. We also have virtual drop-in devices Monday through Thursday, um, and that's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then 2 to 4 p.m. And you can also just join us, speak to one of our advisors, or speak with myself as well. And I'll stick around for one more minute for any questions. Um, otherwise, for those that do not have any questions, thank you for joining us today. Um, I hope I did convince you to apply to our UCEAP Organic Chemistry Program. And once again, any questions, feel free to contact me.